this unlit baby Jesus went flying, <laughs> went flying across it like, a, like a hit the garage of the house next door and landed so he had to fucking drive away. Oh, man. Fucking he punted baby Jesus. I was like, dude, you're gnomes. going to hell. <laughs> Not that stepping on, uh, high stepping gnomes is the, <laughs> the pinnacle of behavior, but I mean, like, just fucking full on, full on kickoff. <laughs> Full on place kicking baby Jesus is. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. <laughs> so, on that note, hi there, my name's Dakota. I'm the uh, web admin for Northern Knives, and we joined by a few other people here from around the shop. <coughs> I'm Mike. From around the shop. That's all I got. I'm from <laughs> the block. <laughs> I'm Lori, I'm from uh, Northern Knives 3K, and if you have any cigars. I'm Chad, I live next door. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we He's are not all the boy next door. Tangentically connected. Um, so what are we here to talk about? Pens! <gasps> pens! Not just any pens. Tough writer writer specific pencils. These pens. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Vanna. you. No, no hand modeling. Your hands are so dirty. <laughs> my hands. <laughs> I can't you put yours away. <laughs> I scrub my hands like constantly with like a brush and like a scour pad and this is as clean as they get. Is that why they look so sickly? <laughs> wait, wait a second. Let me make sure they still work. Oh, yes, they do. It's sort of hairy too. <laughs> yeah. I have like this one little patch. Oh my God, that's not a scratch. Or like, no, no, no. Like, there's nothing, and then a little patch of hair. Chad? I don't know what that is, but it's not like my knuckles or. Oh, he's got baby hair. Yeah. I'm a little hair on the knuckles. <laughs> this is this video is already off to a bad start. <laughs> <laughs> so, so these pens. pens. What kind of pens are we talking about? Today? Tough writers. Tough writers. They're made in Arizona. Phoenix. Phoenix, Arizona. Yes. Phoenix. 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 Arizona. Yes. Well, I used Phoenix to spell Phoenix. Leave me alone. It's spelled different. I'm, I'm, I have to go back to Phoenix um, next year. Um, Hopefully not in the summertime. No, no, I refuse. I have refused to go in the summertime. Uh, no, that's that was kind of my point. Is uh, <laughs> like, you wrote Phoenix, Arkansas? Okay. <laughs> it's A R. Yes, I know. That's it's Arkansas. A Z. Oh god. <laughs> so that's why our website you barely functions. Phoenix, <laughs> Arkansas. So, good old writers. Al good old Alaskan public well. uh, public education system. You were about to say public right. servant so, something? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Pens. Tough writers. They make a bunch of different ones. Uh, the ones that we picked were the mini clicks. They do precision press, they do the Opera series. We do another one that I can't remember right we, now. We do, we, we like just about everything they sell. These just happen to be our favorite. In fact, uh, we use a, uh, when we balance our books in the morning, uh, we use a pencil because it's erasable. And, uh, <laughs> but we actually use a, a, a mechanical pencil that looks almost identical to this every morning. We, we, use, we use one of their products, literally without exaggeration, we use one of their products every single day. Yeah. That's, one, that's their pencil? Yeah. Yes. The Holy precision crap. press pencil. Yeah. Well, that explains the, the design language very similar. Yeah. yeah. But they and make the, nice stuff. It looks almost exactly like this yeah, one. Yeah, and they, they, make great, they make great stuff. I mean, I mean it. Lifetime warranty. Like I said, we use it every day. Have you ever had an issue? Nope. We've never had a warranty nope. issue, never a jamming if you issue, do never anything. have an issue, like uh, when they first started, they had a couple problems with their um, click uh, mechanism. Mechanism. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. <laughs> um, and but they replaced it, no problem. You just send yeah. it back, or they would. Yeah, they, they're, they're super great about their warranty. And then the only... when the O-rings wear out, then they'll they usually send us a packet of them, and then we can replace them. Yeah, I, I think I, we still have some. To be fair, like. I'm not saying they don't use standard O-rings, but I have a feeling that if I took these off and took them down to say like Shucks O'Reilly, I could probably have them size them and give me another one. These like these fit like uh, 550 injectors or something. Yeah. yeah, but it's nice to, <laughs> it, but it's nice they to keep They have like generic O-ring kits. No, I know. But yeah, it's yeah, nice yeah. to keep in contact with them and be like, hey, like up here, it's a little drier. Can you send us some more of the O-rings for this? And mm -hmm. like, yeah, sounds good, no problem. But they're really good Bam. about taking care of us when we need they are, they are they are really good so and, and, and we haven't even had to deal with them that often but even when we had they're like they don't even i mean it's it's almost no questions asked it's like yep. oh yeah sure no problem here gotcha yep. they don't the, the only issue i've ever had was uh forgetting to click back up on the pencil the yeah pencil. i did that too like uh, like the, the first time we were using it like i i click it and then i would go to write and i push the lead back in i was like because you because you click it to extend it and then you click it to lock it so you can like click it to extend it, and you can pull it out, or whatever, you, whatever you got to do. That's a really complex mechanism. Well, uh, internally, I'm sure it is, but once you, I mean, once you get the hang of it, you know, it's like your first two times you use it, 
You're like, what? And then you figure yeah. it out, and you're like, oh, perfect. I get yeah. it. No problem. I, and then since then, it's been flawless. I think I figured out why it's called the mini click. It's because it's short and it clicks. It makes oh, I a almost very, spit on you. I saw that. It makes a very mini click. Like it does. It's almost imperceptible. It, yeah. All you hear is the mechanism going it's back very and quiet. forth. Yeah. And I think that's really cool. So if you wanted to like very nonchalantly like pull out your pen and sign something, nobody would hear you coming. Yeah. It's like stealth. <laughs> stealth legal agreements. Or if you wanted to stab somebody, <laughs> <laughs> stealth legal agreements. Guy did. Oh yeah, guy, uh, a friend of ours did stab somebody in the head with his. Yeah. Uh, he got it back. A couple of times, he did get it back. A couple of times. A yeah. couple of times. It, well, was the guy, very, it was warranted. The guy, uh, it was a, it was a road rage incident. Big ordeal. And uh, the guy came into his vehicle and he pulled his pen to retaliate. Yeah. Because he punched guy in the face sense. a couple times. Guy's yeah. mentioned in jail, but. Uh, we should probably not give away too many details. Yeah. It's just, you know. I mean that guy. Yeah. You know it it guy. is a guy. Yeah, it is a guy. It's a guy. Yeah, it's just a guy. He's, He's not a girl. But anyways, like the pens. <laughs> not so a girl. So they offer a bunch of different variations. The, one that we, the ones that we have are aluminum. We have... That one is tumbled copper. Mm -hmm. And... We've got tumbled brass. Yep, and... We have um, flamed copper, which is actually pretty cool if the camera can catch it here. You can see what they did is they hit it with some sort of heat source to get flamed. it to change different colors. <laughs> That's what flamed means. Yeah. Fuck me. Right? I am uh, very impressed with who did his homework. Hmm. What's this one? And? That one is polished titanium. And how do they get polished titanium? <laughs> Well, first, you call up your friend Ivan in Russia, you go. and then they send people out of the gulag down into the mines. <laughs> and then, I like that you do this, but then you only have to do it 8,000 more times yeah. to actually make it polished. You go through a whole shirt. Yeah, you go through at least one shirt. <laughs> and then you said this one's a mini-click. I think it has a mini-click mechanism, but it's an MK2? Yep, it's an MK2. It's a custom. Yep. It's a custom. With? It's a titanium body with a Damascus ring and a milled Damascus clip. Yay! Bam! Yay! I had I put these on the website I know today. <laughs> like right. it's fresh the in my cool memory. Now here's the hot seat question: What is Damascus? Uh, titanium Damascus. Ooh. <laughs> Chad doesn't actually know he's asking you. <laughs> I'm guessing because it's high in Damascus. So the fun Damascus. thing about the titanium one is uh, when they first came out with the Precision Press and the old owner of this shop went to SHOT Show in Vegas, he brought back a couple of the full size, the precision press of the polished titanium. And Jack told him, if I recall correctly, that he had to hand sand the titanium to mirror polish oh, it. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So I hope, I, I imagine that he's refined his process now. But they were going to stop selling them because it yeah. took him so long because they were hand polishing them. And yeah. he was like, they were a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. And he was like, we got to stop. This yeah. is killing me. Yeah. Or it, it was just, it was way too much effort. And they were they were selling at a price point that like, whoever was getting those was getting a steal for yeah. what they were getting. Ray was. <laughs> yeah, Ray. Ray got his as a fucking song. How often do you see a high polish on okay. uh, titanium? So I just did some work on some titanium scales today and to get a flawless polish is a shitload of work. Even using machinery that I use today yeah. to get um to get a polish where you can spin it and in the light you don't see little imperfections Let's break on titanium. The demo pads are well, here. and it's on a uh, flat surface. <laughs> like this is round, so you have to rotate it each time. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and to not get not to get runs or scratches or anything. And like, I even took uh, like the the titanium I did today. I even took um, wet sandpaper. Uh, like for like an automotive, you know, 2000 grit and fucking dunked it in water and dunked it in water and dunked it in water and it wasn't getting this clean. They do a nice job. It is impressive. That is, yeah. <laughs> the thing that the probably the easiest one for them to make, well, not necessarily easiest material cost wise and effort wise, but probably process wise, one of the easier ones to make is probably the brass and the copper one. The tumbled. How I often? imagine aluminum can't be that hard because it's probably really easy on their bits. Well, I like this because it's got a heftier weight than the other yeah. ones. Than, than these. Yeah. I, I agree. And then the O-rings really help with the grip factor. I'm, yeah. I'm barely holding it. I, I just, like, I'm, I'm going to have to buy one of these. Yeah. The like, copper ones really are pretty nice. badass. What yeah. kind of insert do these use? Uh, they use Fisher Space Room inserts, but you can also replace them with Parker's or right in the range. Basically anything that fits in it. There's a lot of stuff that can take a place. I, can throw I don't know. You'll have to. Uh, okay. That might mine. be a deal breaker. I'm pretty sure. Hold on. I'm pretty sure <laughs> Zebra makes a gel insert that will take the place of a Fisher Space Pen. Okay. Because I personally don't like Fisher Space Pens, and I almost exclusively use gels. 
and uh, I had uh, my last Fisher Space Band uh, pen. Uh, I bought zebra gel inserts, mm. and they worked. And I think I still have extras if you want to they're, check yeah, them. Yeah, it's almost so, like yeah. we should carry them on the side as an option. Looking at yeah, we the, could, for sure. Looking at the O rings, they almost look misplaced. Like you'd think there would be something more here, but you know, grabbing this in my hand, that that's about right. Yeah, no you shit. Know, it's uh, like it's it's fingertips, and then where it contacts your hand. Yeah. And there's no wasted bullshit I in mean, the middle, uh, unless you're. You Monkey write piston. like that, but even at that, who writes like that? The same I, people who eat lot, soup like yeah. this. Little little kids. They, little kids. I've seen a lot of people write like this. For you mean some like reason. this? There's a, <laughs> there's some children that do that too. And these aren't the only ones that they make. They make a. We're sorry if we're insulting you, but copper, you don't write correctly. Polished copper, polished brass. They make like a raw. <laughs> Uh, they do uh, aluminum and purple. Oh, a ton OD of different green, colors. Like uh, this blue. is a small yeah. sampling. This of is what just they like offer. the yeah. widest variety that we could come up with, and of this style, they make a bunch of different they styles. They do flames, yeah, titanium too. They do. We do that is what guy used to fucking puncture that dude's head. <laughs> 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 Flame titanium. He was really put out when it was confiscated for evidence, <laughs> and he was really happy when he got it back. And he had a full size one. Yeah, he well, did I have mean, a full size one. The guy did slightly like longer. Algebra, so, yeah. but like I carry a William Henry pen. But I have to twist off the cap and then twist it on the end, and I can put whatever inserts I want in it. I think I have the zebra inserts in there. Yeah. But I would much rather carry one of these because they're much more convenient and yeah. they're a better size. I mean, if this yeah. thing and they're much more durable. Your, well, I don't know about William Henry's are pretty durable, but yeah. if one of these, but they're also mine's are five million. times the price. Yeah, yeah. mine was five hundred. The one I lost was well, yeah. So and then and we're the looking at what. Range? Uh, 80, one eighty-five. Yep, eighty-five dollars. You one, can get into this. Eighty-five, one fifteen, one fifteen, one fifteen. The polished titanium's one eighty-five, yeah. and this well, it's completely the full custom one. The full is. custom is six hundred, but I mean, like, but it's a one of a kind. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if you if you get one of these, nobody else is getting one that looks exactly like yeah, it. I'm and sure that thing he, is yeah, bulky sure in the hand. Machines yeah. out all the parts of these. I don't know his process, so don't don't take my word for yeah. it. But. I know that he hand machines every single one of the parts on the Timascus that MKTs. Yeah, and you get the same warranty, you get the same flawless operation yep. that you do with any of the others. I mean, all the bugs have obviously been worked out. Now you just get something that is nobody else can have. And if you do got to hit somebody in the head with it, Whew. it's pretty significant. Yeah. I do wish it had a little bit more texture on the front for writing. Like yeah. the O-rings? Like the O-rings, it or is jumping. a nice pen. I do, I do like the flutes. They yes. look nice. They do. I don't know, because uh, neither one of us has actually used one of these in practice. It's true. I wonder, uh, I wonder how the flutes would work. I don't know. I get, I get what you're doing, but you can use the front camera. That front camera works also. It does. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, thank but you. overall, I like the pens. Sorry. I like the pens that also. they make, and I really <laughs> like when they came out the mini clicks because they're a better size. Like, for me. And his pockets don't, aren't very big. Yeah, and yeah. They, they're just a better fit. You get a pocket that's about this long. Like, that's good luck carrying yeah. a fucking pen that's twice the size. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Like, they're they're comfy. I will say one benefit of this of your William Henry is uh, William Henrys are extremely well built. They kind of disappear in your pocket a little bit. They're not a super heavy pen. This disappears from your pocket. You're going to turn around and look in the snow Notice. for it. Yeah. Instead of leaving it there on the roadside where some homeless person will get a... weight-wise what mine is versus that. I don't know. Because mine has a cap that screws on and off. Because that, that was something that I've noticed, about, especially know. about the, the knives that I carry. Weight is always a factor for me because Jesus I want to know when it's missing. <laughs> That's not a pocket pen. And these are easier <laughs> to get a, uh, on a plane than like a Benchmade or whatever. Oh, yeah. Like a, like a, 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 a Benchmade, even Doug couldn't take his on a plane because yeah. they recognized it. But or these... Ray got his on mm -hmm. every time. Yeah. And these are... These don't look like, you know, oh, it's a Kubaton. Oh my no, god, it's not a fucking Kubaton, it's a fucking pen. It just happens to be Go made out of a fucking hardcore material. No, they do don't make a, a tactical line. I don't think these are really considered tactical no. pens. Yeah, but they could function as if. I well, mean, yeah, you know, like, yeah, I mean, are, come on. I mean, they have for guy. Yeah, right? You are going to do some damage with this thing. I mean, that right there. Yeah. yeah, I'm probably hitting a nerve, but that that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty hefty pen. Yeah, and then they do make a polished brass and a polished copper. Yeah, they do a yeah. couple of variations of the copper and the brass, they and do the aluminum and the titanium. Do they, they do. coat the brass and the copper? I don't think so. You mean a coated as in like a clear coat? Because coloring it wouldn't matter. Some sort of clear coat, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I would imagine. I, if, I don't know. If honestly. they don't, you would be able to tell over time how long you've had it. Oh, yeah. Because just. 
hand oils, it would patina and turn green or black. Guy bought a copper one for a friend of his mm -hmm. and brought it in recently for, I don't remember what he needed. I think he just needed an insert, something simple. And uh, just like the overall wear, it looked cool as shit because it'd been in and out of the pocket. So it'd been like randomly polished and it yeah. looked fucking it, great. It looks worn. And I think as age occurs with these, they'll patina, they'll get polished spots and it will look like a classic, you know. This almost looks like a cartridge. Like, yeah. you know what I mean. You like, want, you could, you could put shell. this in your AK and fucking. <laughs> <laughs> eh, let's let's be honest. We're we're talking dragon over there. <laughs> but overall, I, I like them. I think they're great, I and they too. have a clip on them, which not all pens do. Yeah. Because there's a lot of people that are coming out with pens, but these have a clip, and it, it works really well. And the clip is set low enough, so there's just enough out of the pocket so you can get a hold of Grab it pretty it. easy. Because yep. like I have. Like my pen, my, my clip is set real high, and I gotta be honest, not the easiest thing to get a hold of. Look at that, I can't even get it back in my pocket without looking. Hey, with, that, with my Benchmade, I'm it's gonna just uh, throw it on the floor because I'm tired of fucking with it. It's right at the top there, just like yours, and yeah. it's the same thing. I gotta dig into my pocket to pull yeah. it out. Well, it's like low rise clips versus like standard clips on yeah. any knife. Like, yeah, it's nice, it hides, but yeah. at the same time, it's more to get out of it. But they're not, they're not as durable, you know what I mean? Like, uh, that's the fourth one of those pens I've owned. Yeah. One was because of loss, but the other two is because I broke the fucking clips off. Also, if anybody finds one of the... If anybody has been to Alaskan Airlines and finds a Mont Blanc with a, with a gel, a custom gel insert, it's my fucking pen. What are the, the <laughs> um, art form hey, pens? Oh, yeah. Um, the polymer ones? Uh, Archangel? Archangel. It's a pro uh, no, Promag. It's not. It's, it's a pro Promag, Promag Archangels, Archangels in polymer. Yep. I love. With the gel I insert, love that pen. It's his. If you I lost like four of those things. If you find one, we will pay a king's ransom for it. <laughs> Dakota. Uh, five dollars no, and fifty think, passes. I think Mike would. I think they Northern cost. Would pay a king's ransom. <laughs> they cost about fifty new. If someone had one, I'd easily give them a hundred dollars without even thinking about it. Yeah. I am noticing, go grab I'm, I, I'm, I'm digressing away from... But anyways, no. these are so, nice no. pens. I really like them. Moose, come on now, buddy. Go lay down. Sorry, guys. He spilled all the champagne. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, I do notice one thing about these guys, or I've ones that we don't necessarily have on the table, unfortunately. They're tactical line. You guys were talking about how they're operators. hard to pull out. Yeah, the yeah, operators. operators. Mm -hmm. They have screw-on uh, screw caps, Yeah. but the caps have a lanyard hole. Yeah. But they're deep carry pocket knives. Which is easy to pull. But you can, they're deep carry, but they have a lanyard loop on the end. So you can put a lanyard on the end and have that poking out of your pocket. So you can just, wah! Or yeah. you can have it, have it hanging on your vest. Yeah. Or whatever have you. And I thought that was a really cool feature. because Which is actually a brilliant idea if you have a low rise clip. I've never seen <clears throat> a pen manufacturer put a lanyard loop in, nope. in their tactical pen. Unless I've never seen a great idea. Like on the clip. Yeah, I've yeah. never seen anybody even put that much uh, forethought into the use of their product and the everyday carry aspect of it. It's a uh, it's a good idea. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, uh, I if don't you have follow us about it. on other forms of social media, I'll probably pick one of these up and I'll give you a report after it's been worn in a little bit. And he'll write all of his notes with it. All my horrible notes. <laughs> Until his wife sees it. Right. Yeah. 